everyone, I'm going to be making some Lebanese chicken today. This is going to be the first episode in my series of ethnic recipes from around the world. So every single Sunday I'm going to be posting a new video of a recipe from around the world. It could be savory dishes, it could be desserts. Mainly the thing I want to do with this series is try to find recipes with ingredients that we all have in our own home. And if we don't happen to have these ingredients, it's basically just going to be a simple, you know, maybe two or three ingredient recipe for a dessert. But I want to keep it delicious and simple. It's something interesting and new for us all to try. This particular recipe right here I've made numerous times, so I just figured I would start off with this one. And what actually inspired me to do this series of a new recipe every single week is um, this company, Fair Trade, sent me this box of ingredients actually a couple months ago, and I still haven't gotten around to trying it. Um, what they sent me was a whole bunch of ingredients and spices to make actually Indian dishes. And because I'm not really familiar with Indian food and I've never made an Indian recipe, I haven't gotten around to trying it yet. But that's actually what inspired me to do this series is I want to try new things. I want to try dishes and recipes that I've never tried before. I know there are so many delicious recipes out there that we're just not, you know, aware of. So that's where my inspiration to my series comes from. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get started with the marinade on my Lebanese chicken, and I'm going to show you what ingredients I use for that. Okay, I'll quickly show you some of the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need any kind of chicken you want. It doesn't have to be white meat. It could be uh, dark meat. It could be legs. It could be anything that you want. Um, I just happen to be using um, chicken breasts this time. And you're going to need some garlic. Um, I'm using these baby potatoes here. Avocado oil, honey, coarse sea salt, any kind of salt actually. Numerous spices. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the marinade ready and start it off with the olive oil and honey mixture. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my avocado oil and just put enough in the bowl just to be able to coat all the chicken. It just depends on how much chicken you have. So not actually, you don't really need that much. So I'm going to use about that much. And now I'm going to go through all the spices. First thing I'm using is some um, dill weed. And like I said, this is my own recipe, so I don't have um, I don't have exact measurements, but you can just basically use it as taste to taste. And I have some cumin. I have some basil leaves. And also, if there's some of these spices that you just don't like, you, you can definitely leave it out. So I have three. There's a lot of spices here. I also have a little bit of garlic salt, only using a little because I'm going to use a lot of fresh garlic. And I have some paprika. And also I'm going to be using a little bit of onion powder. And I have some curry powder. Not too much of that. I also have some roasted um, chicken seasoning here. And let's see, also some celery salt. bit of each. And the last spice I'm going to use is some chili powder. And now I'm going to add a little bit of honey. Okay, I had to microwave my honey for just a little bit. 
because it was really hard. So that's about all I'm going to add, just a little taste, just to give it that little sweet and savory taste. So I'm going to get all of this mixed up, and now I'm going to add my chicken into this mixture. And then next, we're going to work on the seasoning for the potatoes. I almost forgot the fresh garlic. And I'm going to use just a little bit of garlic for the chicken and for the potatoes. Just as little or as much as you like. Getting that all mixed up. Okay, now I'm going to add the chicken to the mixture. And you can let this marinate um, anywhere between, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes to even overnight covered in the fridge. I've done both when I'm in a hurry. Um, I've let it marinate, you know, maybe a half hour. And then I've also marinated overnight. And honestly, there wasn't that big of a difference. As long as you have lots of spices. So I'm going to let that sit. And now I'm going to work on my potatoes. Okay, for the potatoes, I'm just going to use very few spices because I use already so much for the chicken. So um, just a little bit, just enough to coat the potatoes actually, not even a lot. So what I'm using is I'm using avocado oil. I'm using some sea salt. And let's see, I think I'm going to use some pepper. And for this, I'm going to use some fresh garlic also. I like a lot of garlic. If you don't like it, you can definitely take it out. Maybe even a little more sea salt so it all sticks to the potatoes. So now I'm just going to put my potatoes in here and mix it all up. Make sure they all get coated. Okay, I have the potatoes in. And one thing I forgot that I wanted to add to both the potatoes and the chicken is parsley. And it's definitely not too late. So I'm adding a lot of parsley to the chicken. And I'm going to mix that up. It's just really pretty for color also. And I have my potatoes all mixed up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the chicken marinate for probably maybe an hour. And then we will just get everything all ready. Put it in the pan and I'm going to roast it for about 45 minutes on 375 and I will be right back. Okay, um, the chicken has been marinating for about 45 minutes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything in the pan and get it ready to go into the oven. So trying to get as little oil as I possibly can in the pan because I want it I want the seasonings there, but not so much all the oil. I mean, avocado oil is good to, good for you, but this much, not so much. But it smells so good and it's not even cooked. So I'll get all this in the pan. And actually, when I cook, I usually meal prep and I make enough food always for at least two days, usually for more than two days. So I like to um, definitely meal prep and have meals waiting for me, especially if they're relatively healthy, um, like this is. So not only will this be my dinner tonight, it'll be my dinner um, when I get home from work tomorrow. So that's great, I don't have to cook. 
Okay, I have the chicken in the pan, and I want to do the same thing with the potatoes. And also, I added some tomatoes um, to the potato mixture. So I want to try to get just the potatoes and just the tomatoes with no added oil. Because trust me, there's enough oil on all this food. It's going to be delicious, but I just don't want that much. So I almost got everything in there. And it already looks good and smells good and it's not even cooked. Okay, and this is what it looks like in the pan. So that's what it looks like so far, and I'm going to get it covered. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil, put it in the oven, and roast it for, um, for about 45 minutes on like 375. That's what I usually do. Just And then the last actually 10 minutes, I take the foil off and let the chicken get really, really brown. So I'm going to get this covered up now. Okay, here is the finished product. It turned out great. It looks great. It smells great. What I did is I baked it at 375 for 45 to 50 minutes. The last 10 minutes, I took the foil off the chicken side so it had brown. So this was my first episode of my series, um, Ethnic Recipes from Around the World. And I wanted to start off my series with a recipe that I've tried many times before and I knew would turn out great. But going forward, I want to post videos and make recipes of things that I've never tried before, things that I've never heard of before. So it's new to me. It may be new to you. And I'm really looking forward to this. I make all kinds of videos. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it. I make all kinds of videos, but this particular series is something that I'm not only doing for my viewers, but something for myself. I love ethnic food, and I love the thought of trying new things, but I've never really committed to it. So I want to commit to my channel. Every single Sunday, I'm going to have a new, amazing ethnic recipe from somewhere around the world. I never just seem to find the time to do things like this. So I figure if I commit to my channel, I will stick to it. So I hope you subscribe and look forward to my recipes that I make every Sunday. I have an idea of what I'm going to make next Sunday. I believe it's going to be a Russian dessert. I found a video on YouTube and it's only in Russian. So if I can find out how to translate that, I believe that's what I'm going to make. I'm really excited about this series. So it's going to be something fun. Every single week, it's going to be a recipe that I've never had before, that I've never tried before. Sometimes it's going to be a success, maybe sometimes an epic fail, but it's still going to be fun to try it and to try new things. So I really appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for uh, ethnic recipes. Maybe you're from Russia or Mexico or Japan or anywhere. Just leave me a comment and give me some ideas. Thanks for watching. Bye.